So today's GTA video is slightly different, and the reason it's slightly different is because while it is GTA, it's actually not. And that may sound confusing, but what I want to show you guys is a game, a GTA game, that was completely made by AI. That sounds crazy, but that's what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video. So what's up everyone, welcome back to another GTA video. Now, I don't know how many people are actually interested in, in something like this, because at the moment, as you'll see, it's in its very, very, very early stages. This more than likely isn't something we're going to be seeing viable until maybe 10 years from now. However, it is actually really cool. And I thought I would just make this video so we could have a little discussion about it. Like I said, an AI an AI network literally recreated GTA 5. Like, it made an entire engine and gameplay on its own. At least that's the simplified version. There's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes. I'm not gonna dive too much into the technical details. I'll leave a link to the actual person who created this. He made a like a 17 minute video on it. It is a very interesting video if you were interested in any of this. I believe there's also a link that you can download this if you are someone who is a developer and knows a bunch about this. You can somehow do this yourself. There is a playable demo, although I couldn't figure out how to get it to work, but maybe if you are smarter than me, you can figure that out. But without wasting any more time, let, let's just go ahead and get into the game. The footage you're seeing right now is the game. And if you don't know sort of what's happening, you're probably seeing this and it's like, is someone playing GTA 5 on like a PS1? Like, wh what are we seeing here? Is this Grand Theft Auto 5 from 1997? Because it looks terrible. But that's the thing. This isn't GTA 5. To get this footage, GTA 5 was not running. You could do this on a computer without even having GTA 5 installed. This is an entire new game. Well, game is a loose word. It's a demo of, I guess, what is possible. This is something that is not made by Rockstar. It's not made by really a person. It is made by AI. And like I said at the beginning, it's in its very, 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 very early stages. That's why it does look a little weird. But from what I gather, the gist of how this all works, the people behind this, they set up AI to play GTA 5 on this particular road, of course, near Fort Zancudo. I think they had like 12 different instances and they gathered a bunch of data of the car driving up and down the road. I think there was even uh, traffic at some points. And what they did was they took all that data that they captured from the actual GTA 5 game. And then they had the AI network basically recreate that in its own engine, in its own game. And I want to point out that this isn't really necessarily new i believe about a year ago nvidia and this all stems from nvidia's gan network i forget exactly what that stands for but they had a little trailer here where an ai literally recreated pac-man like that pac-man you're seeing that's not from the original pac-man game an ai made this and that's what we're seeing with this gta recreation an ai literally recreated gta or at least a, a tiny, tiny sliver of GTA. And the few things that we do notice from this demo, which if you can get the actual demo to work, it is completely playable. Like if you hit left, the car will turn left. If you go right, the car will turn right. Like this isn't just a video of it happening. You can actually do this if you can figure out how to get it up running yourself. But some of the things we do see from this, besides the interactive uh, car, the AI simulated the physics from GTA. It simulated the light reflections. When the car turns around, you can see the sun in the window. It simulates the mountains and the terrain. It simulates even car collisions, which we'll see in a second here. Basically, what was happening, the AI saw the cars react from all the data that was captured, and it's basically able to predict to some degree of accuracy what should happen based off of that data. And, and that's what we are seeing here. And here's a part where you can actually see on the left hand side, that's like the initial game, quote unquote, that recreate a game with physics actually working. There's a cop car there. It is very grainy. I'll get to that in a second. But when he tries to move left, the cop car blocks him because that's how the physics in the game work. It's how the physics in GTA work. 
And if you're wondering why it is so grainy, that's because, of course, this is, again, in its very, 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 very early stages. I think it would need a lot more data to figure out how everything should look. The part we saw at the beginning where it wasn't as grainy, that is basically super sampled to make it look better. But this is actually very, very cool. Because if you think about it, like I said, we're probably maybe 10 years off. I don't know, maybe sooner than that, but 10 years is probably a good benchmark to see this implemented into games and, and like actually working. If you have an AI that can literally recreate an engine to an extent on, on the scale of GTA, who only knows what kind of games we're going to be getting, like I said, in 10 years. If this becomes a viable thing, which it more than likely will, I mean, you're probably going to see knockoff titles. Like you're going to see something like this, but an actual working, enjoyable experience more than likely for GTA. Like instead of buying the, the actual GTA from Rockstar, someone will make their own GTA using AI. And maybe that's a good thing because maybe then during the 20 year wait between GTA 7 and GTA 8, we could play these AI games. These AI GTA games. I just think this is a, a very, very, very cool thing that is happening. And I definitely am excited to see where this goes in the future. I mean, the future of gaming is just going to change completely, I think, when these neural networks and these AI networks become better and, and become more viable. What an AI can do is, is something that a human can't. I actually seen recently there was a Witcher 3 story DLC mod that was created and they used an AI network to voice Geralt in the game. And if you watch the trailer, you would have no idea that that wasn't the actual voice actor. You'd have no idea that that was a robot, an AI generating the footage or generating the voice. So things like this is, I think, where the future of gaming is going in. And it is very exciting. And you guys, of course, in the comments can let me know your thoughts. Like I said, it's a very, very, very early prototype or test even of what's possible. But the fact that an AI network literally saw GTA and then recreated GTA in its own engine to an extent again is just remarkable. So that is that is all for the video. I just thought this was a very cool thing. You can watch the full 17 minute video from the creator of this in the description. Definitely check that out in that video's description. I think you can find the link to all the GitHub stuff. I, I might also link that in the description of my video, but this is cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.